What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down one of my favorite little concepts out of that doubles flex formation or the spread by slot in the New England Patriots offense playbook. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, my channel is designed to help people become the best Madden player that they can become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you right now to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna be talking, as I said, about a curl flat concept or a play that you can utilize um, from the New England Patriots offensive playbook. I think the New England Patriots playbook is going to be the best playbook in Madden 22. And so I've been preparing uh, really heavily on this. I actually wrote an entire book on the New England Patriots playbook, breaking down every single formation and everything that you can do. So if you want to get access to that, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. Now, the play that we're going to be going over comes to us out of the spread wide slot. And I'm not sure if it's in the doubles wide flex. It might be. Uh, but we've been talking about this doubles wide flex scheme uh, for a couple of uh, for a couple of videos now uh, out of the New England Patriots playbook. It's one of my favorite uh, favorite formations, favorite concept, concepts uh, in this game. But what I like to do out of spread wide slot, and it looks very similar as you can see, they just move just a little bit. But out of spread wide slot, I want to talk to you today about the concept curl flats, and this is a concept that. I was actually a really big fan of in Madden um, in Madden uh, 13 uh, when I was first getting started in competitive Madden and just being more serious of a Madden player and it's something that's continuing to stick with me year in and year out. And so I just want to go over a couple of ways that you can run this concept and kind of use it um, against the meta defense. And so I'm, I've loaded up the Mike Blitz 3 uh, with, I think, the best zone drops in the game right now, 30, 10, and 10. And we're just going to talk about this um, this curl flat concept. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to basically run the play and we're going to take a, uh, a sack and I just want to go over kind of what happens. So as we watch this play, you're going to see that certain routes come open. What I love about the curl flat concept is it's good every year. It's good every year and we're going to talk about in this video how you can actually um, you can actually do a couple of things to make it even better. So uh, let's go into instant replay. I just want to break down this concept for you first and foremost. So first and foremost, what I love about this route to the back is this back route is something that we can actually hot route to if we have a hot route master. We can put this angle route on the field. But this one actually has its stock. And if you just watch this running back, I just want to show you what happens to these zones. What you're going to notice is he pulls this yellow zone into the middle of the field. The flat zone does a good job of pulling the curl flat to the outside of the field. And now this leaves a window for me to be able to hit right here. The other thing that I like about this is something else I want to talk about. And this is actually a little bit more significant. So if you look to the short side of the field, I actually think that this curl route is better to the short side of the field. So if you watch this, look how the flat zone does a good job. And then look at where the curl kind of sits in the zone. You see here that it's sitting in the zone, and what I like is if you continue to watch this play, you're going to see that this yellow zone, I might have had my user on him, I think I did, um, but if I didn't have my user on him, he would bite down in this route, leaving this window open as well. So what this is kind of telling me, and what this should be telling you, is that this running back route is going to do a good job of both pulling the user, but it's also going to pull a lot of yellow zones. And so um, we're just going to go back through and run the same concept. And I'm actually using the zone. There's specific zones that are designed to stop curl routes. Those are curl flat zones. Literally, it says curl in the, in the zone type. So I'm using curl flat zones to try to stop these. Now I want to show you I've moved the ball to the right side of the, uh, the right hash mark so that the running back's on the short side of the field and so that that concept is also on the short side of the field. And I just want I want you to watch what happens. So if you watch this curl route, you're going to see that it really opens up a nice throwing window for me to be able to throw it. A user is almost always going to go to the running back route. Any yellow zone is going to suck into the running back route. And so this is going to really open up this short side curl route. Now, this is also going to open up some other concepts that we can use on the wide side of the field. So I just want to show you the wide side curl route, and I want to show you the difference. So I'm just going to snap the ball, and I'm going to try to just throw this curl. And you see that there's a little bit more, um, just a little bit more action over on that side of the field, okay? Because of the fact that it's to the short side or to the wide side of the field, it changes how the zones play. And this is why we have to kind of lab this up. And this is why we have to kind of go through this. 
So now what you're going to see is that zones that are dropping to the wide side of the field in this example are actually going to, because they take a little bit longer to get out there, they're going to more likely play the curl route. So we have some options that we can do. One of my favorite little things to do out of this concept this year, specifically this year, is this, is this little adjustment right here. And it's really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to put the wide side of the field slot, which is Chris Godwin, on a curl uh, or a hitch route. And then we're going to put the outside receiver on either a five yard out or a smart route it out. And honestly, that's up to you. I'm going to show you both of them. So the five yard out is really good against like cover three. You're going to see that you can basically throw that right at the snap. But the problem with it is that you can't, you can only throw it right at the snap. That's kind of the problem with it, right? You can't, it's not a late read. Um, it's not something that you can kind of like, you know, look, you have to look at it first. And if it's open, it's open. If it's not, you have to move on quick. Okay. The other reason I don't like the five yard out all the time is because it doesn't really beat man to man. Okay, but if I smart route this route, now it's going to be man to man, but also I want to show you what it's going to do to cover three. So if I smart route this route against cover three, you see that the outside third kind of sits on it, to be honest. It kind of sits on the route. Now there is a way around this, and here's the simple way to do it. So if you want to get around this and be able to really attack the sideline on both sides of the field out of a spread formation, all you have to do is take the slot receiver, Godwin, and just simply put him on a streak. By putting him on a streak, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be forcing this outside third to have to respect the streak. And now you see that this out route goes from looking a little open to looking wide open. And why I like this is because now what this is going to allow me to do is it's not only going to allow me to beat cover three, but you see I'm going to move here to the, I'm going to move over to the cover four and run the same concept. And you're going to see that it's going to kill cover four as well. That's even with the slot being in the curl flat zone at 10 yards, you're still having this nice window to be able to throw that route. Now let me show you this um, against Tampa 2. And in particular, I'm actually using a specific type of Tampa 2, one that's, I think, uh, decently suited to play this. But if you just watch this real quick, this five, or this deep 10 yard dig is kind of open against that. Um, those cloud flats are on th like 30 yards. If the if they were on like default, then the out route would not get open, but the hitch would uh, get out open as well as the curl route, uh, curl routes to the outside. So now we kind of come to the point in the video where we have to make a decision of how we're going to execute this concept. Again, I want to really emphasize the fact that most of the time the user is going to use the running back route. If not, you can throw this running back route in two separate windows, which I really like. So. Let's say, for example, the opponent was setting up a defense that looked essentially something like this, and their user was going up the seam with triangle. Okay, let's just say that that's going to happen. Well, what's really cool about this is you'll see that this running back route just gets wide open over here in this pocket. So a really nice little, little read. Another thing that can happen from time to time, especially if you run this concept a lot, like I like to run it a lot, is you'll see something essentially like this where basically what they've done is they their user is going to sit over here and they have a Mabel coverage on the back side. This is where this play can really become in handy because if they stay on the left side and you have a look like this right here, now what's going to happen is this running back is going to loop all the way over and get open in this little pocket right here. So it's really good for max coverage. That running back route also beats man to man, which is really cool. And then the last thing that I want to show you is the, the double Mabel with double yellows. I think this is the best coverage in the game, um, especially if you have good user in the middle of the field. But I just want to show you this real quick. The, what I like about this hitch out route concept is later on in the play, watch what this running back route does. See how it gets wide open because that hitch route, that yellow zone is getting held by the hitch route. It makes the running back route have to be usered and it now opens up a lot of other windows for your offense so all in all this concept is a concept that's going to be good every single year in madden it's football it's a very good play but what i where i kind of sit with how i like to do my routes is i actually like this right here and essentially i'm going to look to the left side first and then i'm going to look to the right side so i'm going to look quick can i throw that out route nope so i'm going to work back here and if i got a man look i'm either going to throw my curl or I'm going to throw my running back route. So really simple little concept, 
but really effective in my opinion and something that I think you should add to your playbook. This is the Curl Flats concept out of the New England pay playbook. If you want to get my entire uh, New England Patriots offensive guide, then you can get that in the description. I think it's going to be the best offense in Madden 22. It already was probably the best offense in Madden 21 with a little bit of an exception depending on if you are a bunch person or a trips tight end person. But this offense is insane. I would encourage you to dive into the ebook. I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description.